Go ahead and think way back to third grade. What was your favorite memory of that time? I know what you're thinking. Long division. Oh, those blissful times. You would have something like 1,342 divided by 5. You could rewrite it using one of these funny little house things. How many times was 5 going into 13? Well, that would be 2. Multiply 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract. Then we'd bring down the 4. How many times can 5 go into 34? That would be 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Subtract. And this process would keep going and keep going until you got your answer. And now it's finally time to relive that glory. Our topic is long division, this time with polynomials. All right, all right, calm down. I know you're excited. Me too. Let's get into it. Okay, let's take x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12 divided by x plus 2. Just like in third grade, let's rewrite this guy using that little house. That'll give us x plus 2 with the division uh, bar, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. This is going to help us organize our thoughts and information. All right, so this is going to be really similar to third grade long division with a few minor adjustments. Here, we want to focus on this first term here, the highest degree, in this case is x. Now what multiplies to x to give us an x cubed? Well, that would be x squared, right? x squared times x will give us x cubed. Now this x squared, we're going to have to distribute out to this x plus 2. That's going to be x squared times x, which is x cubed, and then x squared times 2, which is going to be plus 2x squared. And then what we're going to do with this whole thing, just like before, is subtract. Now since we're subtracting this whole x cubed plus 2x squared, we're going to be actually subtracting x cubed and subtracting 2x squared. So if I do that, we're going to have x cubed minus x cubed. Those cancel out just what we want. Then we've got 3x squared minus 2x squared which is going to just leave us with 1x squared. Now that we've done that, we've essentially divided this x by this x squared, we're going to be left with x squared minus 4x, and we also take down this minus 12. Okay, we're getting a little bit messy, and that's okay. We can deal with it. We've essentially taken care of this whole guy up here, so we don't need to worry about all that since we brought those extra terms down. Now we're looking at x plus 2 divided into x squared minus 4x minus 12. So if we look at those first terms, x and x squared, what times x is going to give us x squared? Well, that's going to be plus x, right? Because x times x is x squared. Okay, just like we did before, now we want to distribute that out. That's going to be x times x plus 2. x times x and x times plus 2. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is going to be plus 2x. And just like before, we're going to subtract this, which means we're subtracting x squared and subtracting 2x when that distributes. x squared minus x squared those cancel out. Here we've got negative 4x minus 2x. That's going to give us minus 6x. Then we bring down whatever's left over, minus 12. And this whole piece is taken care of. Then we keep on rolling. What times x is going to give us negative 6x? That's going to be minus 6. As you can see, negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Then we distribute negative 6 times 2. That's going to give us minus 12. We're going to subtract the whole thing. That negative distributes. That becomes plus 6x plus 12. After that distributes, then we've got negative 6x plus 6x. That cancels out. And negative 12 plus 12. That cancels out. And we have a remainder of zero, and we're done. Our answer is just going to be this whole guy up here. 
which is going to be x squared plus x minus 6. So we know that if we took x squared plus x minus 6, multiplied it by x plus 2, we'd get what we started with. So what we started with, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12, divided by x plus 2. Final answer, x squared plus x minus 6. All right, so that's kind of long, but it's called long division. What do you expect? Come on. Here we've got 3y cubed minus 5y squared plus 10y minus 3 divided by, a different way to write it, 3y plus 1. Okay, so it is long, but once you get the hang of it, you can actually go much quicker. So I'm going to do this one a little more quickly than the last, see if you can follow along, but it's the same process. Okay, here we go. We've rewritten it. What times 3y is 3y cubed? Well, that's going to be y squared. Now y squared times 3y is 3y cubed. y squared times 1 is plus y squared. I'm going to subtract everything. I just distribute it right away. These cancel. Negative 5y squared minus y squared is negative 6y squared. Okay? Then I'm going to bring these guys down. Plus 10y minus 3. Okay, what times 3y is negative 6y squared? Well, that's going to be minus 2y. Negative 2y times 3y squared is negative 6y squared. Sorry, negative 2y times 3y, negative 6y squared. Negative 2y times 1 is negative 2y. I subtract those, so I change the signs. Those cancel. 10y plus 2y is 12y. Bring down my negative 3, and there I am. Okay, 3y times 4 is 12y, so that's going to be plus 4. If I distribute that out, 4 times 3y, I get 12y. And then we have 4 times 1, that's going to be plus 4. Again, I'm subtracting everything, so I'm going to change those signs. That cancels. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. Okay, now. A little bit quicker, which is great, but now we've got this minus 7. And nothing times 3y is going to give us a negative 7. We could see that this degree of y, in other words, since there's no y, is less than this starting point, 3y. Oh, I hear a train. Choo-choo, choo-choo. And in this case, this negative 7 right here is special. That is going to be our remainder. And what we do with our remainder is we take it, and we set it as a fraction over divided by what our initial divisor was. In this case, 3y plus 1. Doesn't matter what your remainder is, if there's a variable in it or not, whenever you have a remainder, always put it over, like a fraction, your initial divisor. And for your final answer, you take both of these and smash them together. In this case, we'll get y squared minus 2y plus 4, coming from here, plus our remainder, whatever's left, what we couldn't divide into, negative 7 over 3y plus 1. 